one of the key things we've had to deal with is just the fact that you've got a lot of different people in a lot of different places. At any given time, our project has about 25 collaborators. My responsibility is to make sure that we're integrating our people and integrating our systems. Our biggest challenge is in making sure things are coordinated. We were definitely on the lookout for a better solution and it came to us in the form of collaboration for Revit. The model has become not the byproduct of the activities and the creative efforts of all the different disciplines involved in the project. It has become the de facto gathering place for the entire project. Now I can talk to my mechanical engineers and tell them I made a change on the fourth floor ceiling and he can go in, reload my model instantly and we can keep talking about exactly the change that I just did. Prior to collaboration for Revit, that function would have taken about a half a day. Now it is instant. One of the things I really like about Collaboration for Revit is the communicator and being able to not only talk to my team, both in this office and our other offices, but also being able to talk to our consultants. It's so wild to walk around the office and see everyone with the chat box up on their screen and working in real time with one another all at the same time. One of the biggest benefits of A360 team is that they can view that model right inside the system without having any software or any need for any high-powered hardware to be able to see that. We've used the Revit model from early planning and we're going to use it all the way through the end of the project. We're going to be able to actually turn over to Mercy for the maintenance and life cycle of the building. What we're doing with both A360 and with collaboration for Revit is really opening up a new realm of possibilities for how projects are delivered.